Good morning, everybody, and welcome to this edition of Tech Savvy. Uh, today, we're looking at saving videos from Facebook, which um, is something that uh, you might wish to do. Uh, say, a loved one or a relative has uh, put up a video post, and instead of having to scroll through loads and loads of posts that they do eventually, you can actually save that video directly into your saved videos. Sadly, you have to use a third party video say capturer if you want to download it directly onto your hard disk. That is not possible with that. Also, we're going to cover how to save videos you have created like this particular live stream that I'm using now. I use this to post onto YouTube. So I will show you that it is possible to download your own videos from your own page that you have created into your hard disk so that you have a copy there. So without uh, further ado, I'm going to actually just share my screen with you and show you how this works. And here we go. So here we are, we're on the screen of my Facebook page. And uh, the area I go to is this at the top, which is watch. Uh, this allows you to go to an area which collects streams of videos from all over the place. So for instance, if I wanted to save uh, a comedy program, um, say Dave Allen here, uh, the most important and significant part is to click on the three dots that are just at the edge there. And you will see immediately that there is a video option. I can also follow British comedy classics <coughs> or be able to uh, copy the link and send it to a friend there. So what I do now is I click that video and that will save the video to your saved video areas, which is over here. So as you can see, it's added there. And uh, I've also saved other videos. So what about if it's a family, friend or a relative? The same thing applies. You would just go to the top area here and you would click on a particular person that has their videos available to you whether it's a friend or relation, and then you in turn could copy those particular videos. So I'm just going to my wife's page here, and I can look down here and see if I can pick up a video, uh, or here we go. So this particular one, which is all about um, wearing a mask. So I can also, Pin that, click on the three dots again, save to video, and I can put it into a book if I want to, or start a new collection. So I'm actually going to put it into cool videos, and then that collection will and then will be uh, visible over here in my saved videos. So to see, I save videos again. Click on the button at the top, and save videos here and it should have come in if not it's gone into one of those um, books that are there i think that's probably where it's gone maybe it's a show maybe it's home and there's 24 different different videos there so that's basically how you would do that um, so i'm just going to move away from there and we're going to go back and this time I'm going to uh, have a look at my video area. So I click back on my profile and I'm going to show you how to save a video that I have personally created. This could apply to all your videos as well that you've done on Facebook. So here we go. I just click that button there. And you'll see that an option under more comes up for videos. So I click videos there. 
Now, videos of you could be taken by another person or it could be you yourself. I'm going to go into your videos, which contains past episodes of this particular type of thing. Now you'll find that you have the option here on the pencil to click. So this was last week, uh, the week before last. And you can see here the option when you click on the pencil, download SD video. This is also useful for deleting videos that you no longer want, which you can click on there. But I'm going to download it. So what will happen then is it will put it into my um, download section. If I wish to, I can choose to put it anywhere on my desktop. And I can then give it a name, um, Tech Savvy 26. Or I usually have a method putting the number first so it goes in sequence when I'm doing a YouTube channel. And then that would save that on my hard disk in the area I choose it to be. So that's really my little tech savvy tip for today. And uh, hope it was useful. If you want to be able to um, save videos and copy them, then you're going to have to use a screen saving type software. And that is quite tricky to do. Um, there are many out there. My advice is use uh, the, the ones that allow you to copy an exact web link. YouTube is great for that. It shares the link and you're able to uh, put, put that onto your um, third party software. So for instance, in Tech Savvy, you will find there is a share button. If I click on what happened last week, I want to share that. I can then copy the address there and I can then take it to my third party software, which I won't cover in this session today but I can then make that happen. So uh, what I did there was I went to YouTube and I actually just enabled that to, to uh, copy from the share button on YouTube. And then I can paste that address into the third party download software that will do it. So I hope that was useful to you. Do tune in next week. I will do a watch party directly after this of this session and also put it onto YouTube for you so that you can listen in again another time or replay what you see. Thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.